Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about few of the biggest mistakes that are being done by freshers at their beginning of the career in about first 3 to 4 years. By doing these mistakes, they are not able to see any growth in the beginning of the career and at the same time, they get to lose a golden opportunity to build their career. So please watch this video without skipping to understand that you are not making such mistakes. So let's get into the video now. Before getting into the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please give me a subscription to motivate me and at the same time, if you like this video, give me a like because that will indicate that you are liking such types of a content. So I'll be able to make more such contents to help you in your professional life. Let's get into the subject. The first and the foremost thing that we have to understand is what are the major problems that they have to face right after completing their graduation. The first problem that they have to face is the choosing a right career, choosing a right profession, choosing a right industry, choosing a right sector because they do not have any idea about it and they don't get any training about it. The second important problem that they have to face is that getting a first job. How to get a first job, where to get a first job because getting a first job is not at all an easiest task. So eventually this is going to put a huge pressure on them. And this pressure comes from your society, from your friends and your relatives because when your relative son got employed and you are not got employed, so you will eventually get into such a kind of a pressure. And this is going to cause such a level of an insecurity within you. You will start doubting about your knowledge, your talent, your ability in making your life successful actually. But at the same time, if you look at the bright candidates, those who have a clear vision about the professional life, they don't get into huge pressure because they know what they have to do. The candidates, those who do not know anything about their professional life gets into a lot of these troubles and eventually tend to make the mistakes again and again which will cause a lot of trouble in their professional career. So now let's see what are the common mistakes that are being done by freshers. The first ever mistake that are being done by most freshers in our country is taking some jobs very quickly immediately after completing their graduation under family pressure or social pressure. They don't even check whether the job suits their education, whether they are getting a good salary or whether they can make a good uh, career in, in future or the job has a futuristic value or not. So in this way, they will get only a temporary relief by getting a new job, but they may not be able to like the job and show the involvement. So eventually, after some time, they have to dislike the job and they will quit the job before even getting another job. If you are someone who is experiencing similar kind of situation in your life at this point of time, this video will help you to understand what are the possible mistakes that you are going to make in future. So keep watching this video without skipping actually. Let's continue with the video. So after quitting the job, you wanted to make a right decision. So you will talk to people, you will talk to your friends and relatives, you will start collecting information as much as possible. And finally, at the end of the day, this is what you are going to make. You are going to take some course blindly without even checking the future of the course and without even knowing the reality of the course actually just because that your friends might have told you your relatives might have told you or because of some amount of information that you got through internet research after completing the course you will receive a certification and you will mention this information in your CV daydreaming that you will immediately get a job once after putting this information in your CV but you don't realize the fact that you have to improve your knowledge and skills in order to get a job so without realizing this fact you will keep on applying for jobs again and again and you will face rejection again and again so under frustration you will lose the whole and you won't be searching for a job in the same field that you have taken for a course and you will start finding a job whichever available to you and whichever comes to you even if it is a less skilled job or even if it is a low paying job. So once again you are in the same situation and go through the same problem because you have chosen a job based on pressure not because of the future plan. So again you will start distancing yourself from the job and you won't be liking the job, you won't be showing any involvement in the job and you will try to find an opportunity to quit the job bringing lots of wrong facts according to the knowledge and the information that you have in your mind. So finally, you will try to change the field. So once after taking a decision to change the field, you will start collecting a lot of information about it. So when you start collecting a lot of information about it, you will come to know that you do not have an experience and you have already wasted too much of time and you do not have a knowledge and skills to pursue the field. So with this, you will face once again lots of rejections and failures actually. And after facing the rejection and failure continuously in the new field, you will come to a state of fear and confusion. So with fear and confusion, you may not be able to make any particular decision. That's because that you are completely confused. You do not know what is your vision you do not know how to lead your life but still you wanted to make money you wanted to make a good life basically so even after four years if you look at yourself you will still remain as a fresher without experience knowledge and skills and moreover you're not in a position to finalize your profession so this is one of the worst thing that can happen to any fresher so in this span of four years if you look at it very carefully the stages have marked over here one two three again and again repeatedly you are coming to the same position you are frustrating you are jobless even if you are jobless 
stress and you are taking a new job you are taking under pressure and you are not taking based on your future plan so almost three times within four years you are under same situation not because of the nature because of your nature and your indecisiveness actually so it's better to focus on your knowledge and skills and try to improve your knowledge on particular area so that you can have a wonderful life so i believe that this video has helped you to understand the possible mistakes that the freshers are making again and again so please don't repeat these mistakes and please take a decision to change your life because your life is in your hand so if you are going through a similar situation in your life then you have to watch my next video which is going to be on the topic of how to make a decision on your career and to get a first job thanks for watching my video and thank you for supporting me if you like this video please do give me a like because this will indicate that you are interested in this type of a content so i'll be able to share so that you will get a clarity about how to lead your professional life don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra